I'm Jared Kimber, and this is the T20 World Cup Previews. And this one, we are doing Afghanistan. You know, traditionally, Afghanistan's style of play has been, you know, I call them a team of number eights, where everyone comes in and whacks the ball, and anyone can hit a six. It's probably not quite like that anymore. And they have more traditional batters in their lineup um, as, as it currently stands. But they still do have that kind of, you know, the, the lineup. Like even someone like Mujib um, can make runs down the order and can smack a few away. Um, it, so their style of play is probably, I would say, it's going to be dependent on their bowling. You know, they've got Rashid Khan, Mujib, Nua, uh, Naveen, um, Ashmatullah. You know, these kind, there's, there's kind of a lot of exciting different kinds of bowling options there. Muhammad Nabi is another one. So I think they're a bowling side. And if they can put on par totals because of the flexibility of their bowling and the many different skills they have in their bowling, it's almost like any pitch is going to have, is going to favor one of their kind of bowlers on any day. And because of that, I think if they can get regular par scores, they're a good chance. I don't think that means they will win consistently against the best side. Three match winners per team. Uh, well, you would have Rashid Khan in there. He's not been in great form in the IPL, but I mean, he is definitely a match winner. And then let's go with the left arm version of him, uh, which is Nua Ahmed, who again, I think he's had a good IPL, but I thought he would play a lot better. Uh, but he's still a fantastic player and can do absolutely anything. And I'm going to go with Asmatullah Omazai, who can hit sixes, is, is, is a... He's a really top quality batter who likes to go very hard. And with the new ball, swings it around and can take wickets. He might only bowl like one or two overs a game for them, but he might take a wicket every couple of games. Um, and then when he comes in, he's not going to die wondering. And he's a proper bat as well, despite the fact he liked to hit it hard. Uh, he's a real proper player. My surprise player is probably less of a surprise now that he's opening for KKR in the IPL, but I'm going to go Gabaz. He's played a lot of T20 cricket and he's quite young. I think he knows what he's doing with his game and he's a beautiful striker of the ball. Um, he can have a very, very big tournament. They don't have Hasratullah Zazai because he's gone into just incredible poor form over, you know, the last couple of uh, years. And so, you know, they need a lot out of Gabaz. But I think he can get them off to some pretty exciting starts. And if he gets going, good luck. They've not really been much of a force in the T20 World Cup at the moment. Despite the fact that when they first came into cricket, that was their best format. I think they've become a better ODI side. Um, this is, they, they're just a better unit though now all together. This might be the best all-round team they've ever brought, brought to a T20 World Cup. So I would expect this to be at the very least the best we've seen them play. They're in the same group as New Zealand and the West Indies, and I would have both of those times, and I would have both of those sides ranked slightly above them. But at their very best, I think they can beat both of those teams. The question really is, can they beat both of them in a row? As in, can they they need to really beat one of them, and then hope that the 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 rest of the um, tournament or the rest of the qualifying group goes in their direction, right? Because I don't think they can beat New Zealand and West Indies back to back and be the sort of the top ranked side. But I do think they have the game to beat either of those sides. The biggest challenge for them is just, I think, making enough runs consistently. Their bowling should keep them in some games. And, you know, we've seen, uh, we've seen when they're at the, in the one day World Cup, when they got any sort of competitive total, there's so many bowling options that they can have and they've got some all round options and all sorts of things that they can throw different combinations at you and keep you in trouble. So their biggest challenge is, can they make enough runs and put pressure back on? That's what I'm not sure about at the moment. Pitch conditions, there's one massive thing that is a little bit in their favor here, and it's that they're going up against New Zealand in Guyana. That's a really good one. If, if I'm Afghanistan cricket, I'm thinking to myself, I, I would take that, you know, New Zealand would be looking at that going, that's a more difficult game now for us than it should be. The other game that's obviously really important to them is going to be the one versus West Indies. That's back in Solusha. That doesn't um, help them as much. But if you look at their bowling liner, they're very good at spin um, and they have a little bit of seam. If this becomes a more of a spin friendly World Cup, especially in the West Indies parts, um, they, they could have a bit of go on a bit of a run uh, with that. Will America fall in love with Afghanistan? I can tell you this, that the easiest stories I've ever sold to um, American audiences have been involving Afghanistan cricket. You know, there's obviously, the US government was even involved in American cricket a little bit. Hillary Clinton has talked about the men's team before. 
you know, uh, it, it was used as a, a, a as a story. And then, you know, Afghanistan is only known for war in, in America, right? So to change that and suddenly have this story, yeah, it could be. It's actually a real shame that they're playing all their games in the West Indies. I would have loved it if they were playing some of those games in the US as well. But I, I do think it could be a really, really um, uh, fascinating um, thing if they go on a bit of a run or they make it to the second group. But I think you might see some uh, American media outlets just taking a, a little bit of a look at Afghanistan uh, during this World Cup. My prediction for Afghanistan is I don't know. <laughs> um, I really don't think they're make, about to make a big run at this T20 World Cup. But you know what? I didn't think they were going to make a big run in the ODI World Cup either. I would have them as closer to the, what, the ninth or 10th ranked side coming in. But... There's a lot of talent in this squad, and maybe if it comes together, they could have another magical run. Well, that's it from me on this T20 a World Cup preview. Remember to like and subscribe and do all those things that TalkSport Cricket wants you to do on this channel. We're going to have so much coverage of cricket here. If, if you're not subscribed, what are you doing with your life? On AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app, and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.